Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. Okay, I need to heat my house. It's getting cold. I don't know about you guys, but I've been nearing almost negative temperatures where I live and it's time that I've added a few more heaters to my house, which I'm gonna be adding more Avalon Qs. So right now it's about 69 Fahrenheit in this general area here but in my house here i live in roughly a 4000 to 5000 square foot house and to heat this house it takes a lot like i do have baseboard heaters everywhere and in a couple rooms like my wife's office here i have an avalon mini 3 which has been heating her general area here not using the baseboard heater of course i have a, another avalon q here in my living room, TV area, but it actually hasn't been enough to warm up this area enough. Even though I have it on super mode right now, it's doing about 94.97 terahash. And yeah, it's going full on to the max. And I do have this one on a 20 amp outlet in case anyone had some concern. And I also have uh, ethernet plugged in as well because I wanna have the lowest latency for this thing. And I have another Avalon Mini 3, which has been good for heating a room, like a single room, but anything bigger than like a regular bedroom, it might not, it might not keep it warm. So in a room like I have here, it's actually not enough. This is a, I think almost taken about 800 watts at like 40 terahash. So it's been okay. Don't get me wrong, it is warming up this room, but I feel like I need to add one more thing, which I do have this Flu Miner L2, but it's, it's really not pumping out that much heat. It's a little Dogecoin script miner. It's been great as like a music player. Don't get me wrong, but you know at like 1 giga hash, 1.2 giga hash mining script, mining Dogecoin. It's really not outputting that much heat, but I'd say this is probably good for like, I don't know, a bathroom, to heat up a bathroom or something. So, all the Avalon Qs that I have currently are sitting upright like this. Okay, power supply at the bottom, hash boards up. So, that will unfortunately make the screen and whatnot upside down, which is completely fine uh, for me. I wanna make sure the power supply is you know, a lot cooler instead of having all the hashboard heat going into the power supply. So I know a lot of people have been flipping theirs in order to keep their power supplies much cooler. But anyways, you guys know the units I have currently now, okay, that's heating my house generally, but it's not enough. So <laughs> thanks to asicmarketplace.com, this is where they sent me two Avalon Qs here to help me heat up my house even further. And so I have a fun plan that I wanna use these for, not only to heat my house, but also to solo mine a bunch of different uh, SHA-256 coins. So link down below if you guys are interested in the Avalon Q, I have to say that these are probably one of the best miners for heating your house. So not only is the Avalon Q pretty efficient for, you know, SHA-256 or, you know, Bitcoin mining or solo mining. One of the greatest things I love about the Avalon series stuff, like even the Avalon Mini 3, is that you can control them through the app. This is actually one of the best things that I like, especially if it gets too hot outside. I can then go into it and change it to eco mode if I wanted to. Or, you know, if it gets too cold, then I put them to super mode. And there's also a timing mode on these so that you can set up the time of day when it goes on or off. Maybe you have electricity prices that's much higher during the day and maybe it's cheaper at nighttime or something like that. Or what I mainly use it for is I some of them I turn off during the day because maybe it's a lot sunnier out and then it turns back on at nighttime. All right, let me uh, take these out of the box. Okay, so the two Avalon Qs, I got them unboxed here. So real quick before I plug them in, I just wanted to do some housekeeping stuff here just for anyone that's maybe new, maybe just trying to understand, you know, how to plug these things in. Well, it's gonna come with a power cable like this, okay? It comes with a C19 to a NEMA 515P plug. Okay, so this C19 will plug into the back, which is gonna be down here. That's gonna go into a C20. There is a power button right there, okay? And as well as it's gonna come with a USB to Wi-Fi adapter dongle, which is gonna go right in the front here. Alternatively, you don't need to use that. You can actually use the ethernet, okay? So ethernet cabling will be a lot better because lower latency to a mining pool or even your own local Bitcoin node if you're gonna solo mine, like I'm gonna do with one of these things. But you can't go wrong with this, especially if you're gonna be powering this in an area where you don't have ethernet, okay? So I know a lot of people don't have ethernet wiring around their house. Fortunately, when I renovated 
insulated in my house. I did put Ethernet Cat 6A all around my house just in case. Another quick thing is if you run the Avalon Q for a while and it's going to collect dust, you may get a filter warning message on the app. You can just easily pull this, okay, the front of it, and it will just pop off like this and you can clean the filter, okay, very easily. You just pull it out from from right there, okay? So, you can easily clean the filters on it if you need to, okay? So, put this back, and then, uh, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna plug her in, okay? So, I'm gonna be using the Canon family app. So, this is where I can add a new device, okay? And it's gonna search for the new device. I don't obviously don't have it plugged in, so I'm gonna plug this in to wherever I'm gonna plug it in, and then I'm gonna add it to my device here. We're gonna edit the Wi-Fi, manage it, change the mining pool, all that kind of stuff, and that's it, and just go to town. It's just gonna start mining right away, and I'm gonna heat up my house with more of these, uh, more of these Avalon devices, which I, I really like. It's uh, providing a lot of good heat in some of my rooms, but I need more. Okay, so let me plug the first one in. Okay, got the Avalon Q here just on my table and it's pointed to the rest of my room here. So I do have the other Avalon Q that's sitting right there that's on super mode right now. But it's been actually about a couple hours already. So surprisingly the Fahrenheit the temperature ambient temperature in this room now is 77 so it's getting kind of warm actually I kind of wanted it at like 72 73 Fahrenheit so it is getting warmer so this is on eco mode it's already on the lowest mode possible as you guys can see here I have it at yeah 56 terahash eco mode right now again there is the standard mode and then the uh, super mode which I have the other one on super mode right now so I'm not going to uh, actually no I may switch that to standard mode to bring you know the temperature down a bit more just for this area here because it's I think it's gonna get hotter as time goes on but yeah this thing is working good now yeah so it does come with the C19 to NEMA 515 cable this is a 14 gauge cable by the way so 14 gauge, I believe the standard amperage for this would be 15 amps. So 15 amps times like 120 volts, that would be 1800 watts. So if you were running this on super mode, then that would be pretty much the max capacity on this 14 gauge cable, which I am going into a, a 20 amp circuit. I do have 15 amp circuits as well in every room, but I'm not using this. I'm using the more higher capacity uh, circuit for these types of miners plus it's new it's new wiring as well the old 15 amp circuits that I have is older wiring in the house so 12 gauge cabling uh, for my house for the new uh, 20 amp circuits 120 volt so just be mindful what circuits you run on this especially you know what power mode you're gonna be running your Avalon Q at okay eco standard super super will take over a little bit over 1800 watts standard will be what 15 ish 100 watts eco is going to be roughly 800 to 900 watts so i like eco mode because it's obviously a lot less but uh, we are getting uh, less hash rate but it is more efficient actually the if i show you guys on the screen here the eco mode is actually the most efficient mode for the avalon cues it's pretty good for what you get and also provides heat and whatnot but yeah so you guys are gonna ask red panda what are you mining with this thing well i am solo mining bitcoin cash to luckymonster.pro this is just a pool that i found that's on mining pool stats anyone can go to miningpoolstats.stream go to bitcoin cash and you can see all the different pools that are supported for solo mining bitcoin cash so i thought hey i would try again i actually found a bitcoin cash block with this canon avalon mini 3 okay this baseboard heater looking type of miner <laughs> i actually found a bitcoin cash block after six days when i pointed it to mr retro mike's mining pool which uh, is shut down now so i'm gonna try the lucky monster pool on the avalon q see how that goes but yeah i i was pretty lucky to find a bitcoin cash block it pretty much paid this unit off which i believe a bitcoin cash block is over like a thousand dollars worth right now okay so i have this avalon q i have not plugged it in yet i'm gonna figure out where i want to put this one 
I'm gonna do that just offline here. I just showed you guys where I just plugged that other one. But um, yeah, I'm actually gonna do another video talking about what I'm planning on doing on my Avalon queues. I plan on spreading out hash rate. I'm gonna solo mine Bitcoin, solo mine to my own node, solo mine to ckpool.org, and then I'm gonna do Bitcoin Cash and you know uh, maybe digibyte on another one so that's my plan on just you know kind of spreading out hash rate and you know seeing how it goes i know with digibyte i'm probably going to find a block much faster like every day possibly with a single avalon queue but um, i know there's plenty of people out there that are solo mining other forks of bitcoin as well you guys let me know but okay i think that's it for this video guys let me know down below if you guys have these Avalon queues heating your house as well? What are you guys mining with them? Are you solo mining or even pool mining uh, with them? Maybe I should try one pool mining. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll do that. But um, yeah, if you guys are interested in an Avalon queue, check out asicmarketplace.com. I have a link down below. Code RPM for 100 bucks off if you're interested. I also have other links down below to other resellers uh, if you are interested as well. All right, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out. Good amount of heat coming out. A little bit hot though.